सिटी बैंक रिमूव साइन बोर्ड फ्रॉम कोलकाता ऑफिस एज पार्ट ऑफ रीब्रांडिंग एक्सरसाइज विथ एक्सिस बैंक दिस मे सीम लाइक अ सिंपल न्यूज आइटम अबाउट एन एक्विजिशन हाउ एवर बिहाइंड दिस न्यूज लाइज अ सेंचुरी ओल्ड जर्नी दैट प्लेड एन इन्फ्लुएंशियल रोल इन ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द इंडियन बैंकिंग सेक्टर दिस न्यूज इज इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस वॉज द सेम ऑफिस वेर वन ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स अगो इन नाइनटीन ओ टू सिटी बैंक India operations City Bank's India business was one of their first forays in international market along with London and Shanghai at that time the company was called First National City Bank of New York and the company had chosen Kolkata because it was a major trading hub of the British Empire especially for the Indian textile and cotton while the Chorangi Lane Road where this office is located was a newly constructed building and the same building also housed a popular department store of those times called Army and Navy store which was started by few army and navy officers so that was the seemingly simple times of the early 1900s but now let's fast forward to 1980s when city bank india truly started to make its mark in india's banking journey back then concepts like retail banking or investment banking were relatively unknown to majority of common indians and atms didn't even existed across india at that time gold and real estate were the preferred investment routes despite these challenges city bank india launched its consumer banking business in 1985 as india slowly started walking towards liberalization at that time color tv vcr fridge was starting to become popular in indian middle class homes therefore to tap this growing business city bank india ventured into consumer durable finance later as the desire of the indian middle class grew so did city bank with the launch of newer cars like maruti suzuki fiat and others the dream of owning a car became rampant for many and that's when city bank india ventured into auto finance business later the company partnered with hdfc to launch its home loan business however what really brought city bank to the forefront of india's banking sector was an acquisition in the year 1990 city bank acquired india operations of diners club the market leader in credit card business they purchased it for an estimated value of 5 crore rupees this acquisition led to city bank's entry in india's then nascent credit card market later city bank's innovative approach also saw the launch of one of india's biggest private atm networks internet and mobile banking and 24 hour phone banking with a memorable tagline city never sleeps by 2020 city bank had built a massive and thriving business in india with over 25 lakh retail customers over 10 lakh bank accounts over 20 lakh credit card account holders and it also employed around 20000 people and also held a considerable 5% market share of the total retail credit card spends in india so if things were going fine what happened why did city bank decide to exit india well honestly speaking city bank is not the first foreign bank to close shop in india barclays deutsche bank rbs and others have either shut or sold parts of their portfolio in india But in City Bank's case, the story began in the 2000s. At that time, City was the world's biggest bank, operating in over 50 countries. And by the year 2007, the stock price of City Group had crossed a whopping $500. But then, the subprime mortgage crisis hit the financial world, and City found itself having to write off tens of billions of dollars in bad loans. From an over $500 stock price in just two years. the price of city bank stock fell to just $26 the fall was so steep that the company has never recovered from this slide even now the stock price is still hovering around the $50 mark and then in 2020 came the tipping point covid the pandemic caused accelerated disruptions in the banking sector then in 2021 jane fraser became the new ceo of city group and she knew since the days of subprime crisis crisis city bank's asset have depleted by billions of dollars so if city bank has to survive in the long run she has to make bold decisions therefore 
After analyzing the company's global portfolio, it was decided that Citibank will sell off its consumer and retail operations in 13 countries in Asia and Europe, including India. About this decision, she stated that our capital investment and resources are better deployed against higher returning opportunities. This strategy taken by the CEO is often termed as business realignment, where instead of focusing on multiple markets, the company decides to realign its resources and focus on few key markets where the company has a strong market position as well as good margins. Then in 2022, it was announced that City India's consumer business would be acquired by Access Bank for around 12,325 crores. And now in 2023, the remaining formalities of the acquisition are almost over. But at the end of Citibank's 121-year-old India journey, it is important to note that the bank has played a significant role in the Indian banking industry. And its exit from the India's retail banking space certainly marks the end of an era.